The agents of human infectious diseases belong to five major groups of organisms bacteria, fungi, protozoa, helminths, and viruses. Bacteria belong to the bacteria domain, whereas fungi, protozoa, and helminths are classified in the eukarya domain. Fungi include yeast and molds, while worms are helminths. Protists in fungi are distinguished from animals and plants by being either unicellular or relatively simple multicellular organisms. In contrast, helminths are complex multicellular organisms. Viruses are quite distinct from other organisms. They are non-cellular, that is they do not have any nucleus in cytoplasm. They cannot make their own energy and are unable to synthesize proteins. They are completely reliant upon host cells for application and are thus considered obligate intracellular pathogens. Important Features of Microbes Many of the essential characteristics of these organisms are present. One salient feature is that bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and helminths are cellular, whereas viruses are not. This distinction is based primarily on three criteria, the structure, the mode of replication, and the nature of the nucleic acid. Structure Cells have a nucleus or nucleoid, which contains DNA. This is surrounded by cytoplasm, where proteins are synthesized and energy is generated. Viruses have an inner core of genetic material, either DNA or RNA, but no cytoplasm. And so, they depend on host cells to provide the machinery for protein synthesis and energy generation. Method of Replication Cells replicate either by binary fission or by mitosis, during which one parent cell divides to make two progeny cells while retaining its cellular structure. Prokaryotic cells, such as bacteria, replicate by binary fission whereas eukaryotic cells replicate by mitosis. In contrast, viruses disassemble, produce many copies of their nucleic acids and proteins, and then reassemble into multiple progeny viruses. Furthermore, viruses must replicate within host cells because, as mentioned previously, they lack protein synthesizing and energy generating systems. With the exception of rickettsia and chlamydia, which also require living host cells for growth, bacteria can replicate extracellularly. Nature of the nucleic acid Cells contain both DNA and RNA, whereas viruses contain either DNA or RNA, but not both. Biologic relationships of pathogenic microorganisms In this table, we will discuss the super kingdom and domain, kingdom, pathogenic microorganisms and types of cells. Animal, protist and fungi belong to the super kingdom or eukarya domains, while its prokaryotes belong to bacteria domains. The pathogenic microorganisms of eukarya domain are helminths, protozoa and fungi, while that of bacteria are bacteria. Helminths, protozoa and fungi are eukaryotic cells, while as bacteria are prokaryotes. Viruses are non-cellular. Eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Cells have evolved into two fundamentally different types, eukaryotic and prokaryotic, which can be distinguished based on their structure and the complexity of their organization. Fungi, protozoa, and helminths are eukaryotic, whereas bacteria are prokaryotic. The eukaryotic cells has a true nucleus with multiple chromosomes surrounded by a nuclear membrane and uses a mitotic apparatus to ensure equal allocation of the chromosomes to progeny cells. The nucleoid of a prokaryotic cells typically consists of a single circular molecule of loosely organized DNA and legs of its nuclear membrane and mitotic apparatus. In addition to the different types of nuclei, the two classes of cells are distinguished by several other characteristics which are the following. Eukaryotic cells contain organelles such as mitochondria and lysosomes and a larger ATS ribosomes, whereas prokaryotes contain no organelles and smaller 70S ribosomes. 
Most prokaryotes have a rigid external cell wall that contains peptidoglycane, a polymer of amino acids and sugars as its unique structural component. Eukaryotes, on the other hand, do not contain peptidoglycane. Either they are bound by a flexible cell membrane, or in the case of fungi, they have a rigid cell wall with chitin, a hormone polymer of N-acetylglucose amine, typically forming the framework. The eukaryotic cell membrane contains steroids, where is no prokaryote, except the wall-less mycoplasma has steroids in its membranes. Motility is another characteristic by which these organisms can be distinguished. Most protozoa and some bacteria are motile, that is they can move, whereas fungi and viruses are non-motile, they cannot move. The protozoa are a heterogeneous group that possesses three different organs of locomotion, flagella, cilia and pseudophodes. The motile bacteria move only by means of flagella. The study of protozoa is called protozoology, while the study of fungi, yeasts and molds is called mycology. The study of bacteria is called bacteriology. The study of viruses is called virology. Study of algae is called phycology, and the study of parasites is called parasitology. Comparison of medically important organisms. The table contains five columns for characteristic viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites. Along with us, their characteristics are cell wall, proximate diameter, nucleic acid, type of nucleus, ribosomes, and mitochondria nature of outer surface, motility, and last one, method of replication. Viruses have no cell wall, while bacteria and fungi and parasites have cell walls. Their diameter is listed below. The nucleic acid in viruses is either DNA and RNA, while the nucleic acid in bacteria, fungi, and parasites is both RNA and DNA. There is no nucleus in the viruses, no distinct nuclear compartment in bacteria while membrane-bonded nucleus is present in fungi and parasites. Ribosomes are absent in viruses, while of smaller size of 70s in bacteria and larger size of 80s in parasites and fungi. Mitochondria organelle is absent in both bacteria and viruses, while present in fungi and parasites. Nature of outer surface of viruses is protein capsid in lipoprotein envelope. Bacteria has rigid wall containing peptidoglycane. Fungi has rigid wall containing chitin. Parasites have flexible membranes. The motility feature of viruses and fungi is known as they cannot move, while bacteria are somewhat motile and parasites are the most motile organisms. The method of replication for viruses is not binary fission. For bacteria is binary fission, Fungi replicate with budding or mitosis, while parasites replicate with mitosis only. Terminology Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and helminths are named according to the binomial linear system that uses genus and species. For example, regarding the name of well-known bacteria is Chiricha coli. Chiricha is the genus and coli is the species name. Similarly, the name of the yeast, Candida albicans, consists of Candida as the genus and albicans as the species. Viruses typically have a single name, such as poliovirus, measles virus, or rabies virus. Some viruses have names with two words, such as herb simplex virus, but those do not represent genus and species.